Hi, Philip Pinko with Event DV Magazine. Today's tutorial is on a new feature in EDIUS version 6 called Proxy Mode Editing. Proxy Mode allows you to edit with low res proxy files, so field editing is easier because it conserves your system resources. This allows you to use a lesser computer or a lower powered computer than you may have at the studio. It should speed up your workflow and allow you to edit in more places than you ever thought possible. Enjoy the tutorial. Hi and welcome back. Today's tutorial is on proxy mode editing in EDIUS version 6. The proxy mode allows an editor to more easily work on a project that may have data files and video files that place a demand on the processor that is greater than what it can handle. It uses low resolution proxy files to ease the burden on the computer making it easier to edit your project. Before we go on, there's a few things in the settings menu I want to show you that will help you understand a little bit better proxy mode. I'm going to select on my user settings. I'm going to zoom in on my window a little bit. And I'm going to come down to background job. Okay, as you can see, there's an option for pause background jobs during playback. I'm going to leave this selected because this tells Edius that when I hit the playback bar and when I'm working in my project and I need all my resources, don't be creating my proxy files because I want all my resources to get the best real-time playback possible. When I stop, Edius goes back to work creating my proxy files all in the background. Next option is proxy mode. There are two options here. I believe both of mine checked. One is when there is no proxy, use high res. This just means that before those proxy files are created, you will be able to still edit your project in proxy mode. You'll just be using high res files. So as they are created and they come online, they will be replacing the high res files in your timeline and things will get progressively better as those files are created. It just allows you to keep working while the process is going on. The next option is automatically generate proxy. That just tells Edius that if I have not created proxy files yet, when I request proxy mode, it's going to start creating those in the background. By default, Edius does not create proxy files in the background until you request proxy mode. Okay, there's one other thing I want to show you, and that's on the user interface. I'm going to click on the button, make sure my timeline is selected. I'm going to come down in my current buttons that show up on my timeline, and I'm going to put my cursor right there because I want to put a new button there. Now if I scroll down, I will find a button, there it is, for proxy mode. Now, by adding that and clicking Apply and OK, you see I now have a proxy mode button right on my timeline. This means that instead of going up to mode, proxy mode, every time I want to enter and exit proxy mode, I can just click on this button and it will go back and forth really fast. It's a really big time saver if you use proxy mode very much. Now, let's see how it works. As I mentioned before, I've got an 8-track multicam edit queued up and ready to go. This is in full res mode right now. If I go up to mode and select multicam mode, I, or I could press F8, I will be put in multicam mode. Right? I'm going to drag this down a little bit so you can see it all better. And there we have our master and our eight cameras. We're going to learn about multicam mode in the next tutorial where I'll actually show you a 16-cam multicam mode. That's just crazy. For now, though, let's go back and work on the proxy mode. Okay, I'm in full res mode. If I press play, you can see I'm moving at like one frame every couple of seconds. This is going to be very cumbersome to edit and very unproductive. I'm going to hit stop. Now, if I go and I click on my proxy mode button, you'll see my tracks. I'll get this checkerboard pattern on them. This means they're in low res proxy mode. You probably also noticed up here the visual output of my display got a lot blurrier because I'm using a low res file. Now, one thing to look at down here see this particular track, 0162, has hard lines through it. This just means that proxy file has not yet been created. Let me show you something else. I'm going to zoom in on my timeline. And if I drag it over here, you see down here this little P right below my cursor? That says Edius is creating a proxy file in the background right now, and it's creating one. I've already created all the others. I've got one left that has to be created, and it's going in the background. If I put my cursor over it, it will pop up and show me the information 
about what's going on in the background. Now if I come up here into my bin, you'll notice I also have the thumbnail for that clip and it's giving me a progress chart showing me how much has been done in the proxy file creation. It's another little way that Edia shows you the progress going on in the background. So I'm going to let that go ahead and finish creating the proxy. I'm going to blow my screen back up to full screen and I will be back shortly when it's finished. Okay, our proxy file has been created down in the background. As you can see down here, our 0162 now has the checkerboard pattern just like the rest indicating we are in low res proxy mode. Let me show you one thing real quick. If I come down to my computer, you can see here, here's my 0162 MOV proxy file. It's all of 54 megs in file size. See that? If I come down here to the master file, you can see it's over 2 gigs. So that shows the difference in file size. You can imagine with the much smaller files that our real-time playback is going to work much better because the data stream coming down the pipeline into our processor is going to be much, much smaller. Now watch what happens when I hit the space bar to play back my timeline. That's working in real time there. That's eight cameras of multicam playing in real time because I've got proxy mode which reduces my data stream and makes it much easier to handle within EDIUS. This is a huge benefit. Even large computers in your studio may not be able to handle that kind of data pass so it can be very handy for that kind of editing. Now, let's show you how to do the field editing where we can check a project out. I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to go to Field Editing and check out. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on my window a little bit so you can see better. Here we go. Right here is a browse. What that lets you do is define where your data is going to go. I'm going to go to my laptop drive. I'm going to come down here, create a new folder. I'm going to call it Proxy and click out of there. Okay, it's going to put my information now in the Proxy folder. Coming down the window a little bit, check outsource files. If you click here in this box, EDIUS will automatically generate proxy files for video when there are no proxy files. That means if you've not created any proxy files yet for this project or entered proxy mode, then when you check out the project, it's going to create all those files for you. Now, if you had a large project with lots and lots of files that could easily take a fair amount of time if you just got a small project it's not going to take long but it's literally recreating all new files so it's got a lot of work to do so it could take a little while also note here that original high-res files are copied for stills sources and other things that are not video clips your stills, your titles, those things are going to come along in full resolution for your proxy mode project. If we come down and select the high res option, we can also export the entire high res files in our project as well. Or we can check only the area used in the timeline. That means that only the parts that are on your timeline will be checked out in high res mode. You can add a trim margin, it defaults to two seconds that gives you the possibility of adding a little wiggle room for trimming or for adding transitions and dissolves. Coming on down the screen, our checkout target. We can only check out what's in our current sequence. Or if we have multiple sequences, we can say all, which means it's going to check out everything in all of our sequences and our bin. I'm going to check all because I want to check out everything that I need that I would use out in the field for a project. I am going to come and uncheck the high res section because I only want to work with proxy files. I'm just going to be out of the office for a couple of days so I don't need everything. Now I'm going to come down and click my OK button, answer yes for my question, and let it do its thing. As you can see it's exporting the files over to my portable drive. OK it's finished. Now it brings me up to my start project screen so I can start a new project if I want to. Just to see how it worked, I'm actually going to open a project. I'm going to go to my laptop drive to my proxy folder and I'm going to open up my proxy mode tutorial. This is exactly where we left off before we checked it out. Everything's in proxy mode. 
I can move my cursor back to the beginning. I'll hit the space bar and I'm going to start selecting which camera I want to use. I'm just going to randomly select a few. As you can see, proxy mode is doing its thing. I'm not going to explain how it all works. That's for the next tutorial on Multicam that you'll be viewing in a few weeks with me. Okay, that's enough cuts. So we've got some changes now to our project. So I'm going to save my project and close Edius. Now I'm going to open up the original project that was on my C drive and check this portable project back in. When I do, you can see we get this screen to check in our project. I'm going to click on check in and we now get this screen. From here I'm just going to click the OK button, say yes to continue, and it's going to check in my files. And here is our project. As you can see, all of those cuts and all those selections from Multicam that I made are right there on my timeline exactly as I left it on my portable drive from where I had checked it out for field editing. Now that all that's left for me to do is click on my proxy mode button. I'm now back in full res mode where I could go in and I could export my project, author, or do whatever it is I need to do from this point. Try it out sometime. You'll see that when you've got an intensive project, it can speed up the workflow if your computer's not quite up to the task. Come back next time where I'm going to show you how to use Multicam to speed up your workflow. I'm also going to show you that 16 camera Multicam edit. You don't want to miss that one. See you then.